All right, uh, this is uh, part two actually of uh, hot water. And this one here, uh, I'm going to just concentrate on uh, tankless hot water or uh, on demand hot water. In my case, it's a propane unit, so uh, I'll be able to discuss that. Uh, seeing that we're standing here, here's uh, one of my uh, electric bikes here. Uh, this one here is a 48 volt system on uh, just a mountain bike. It goes like a devil. Uh, and this one here is uh, my. Uh, electric scooter. Uh, the electric scooter is a lot more comfortable than any bike. The, the seat on this is almost like my 850 Yamaha. But um, in, in this case here, the, it's got a set of stereo mirrors. And uh, what's kind of nice is when you got the mirrors set up for your vision, your ears are not far away and they're set in perfect stereo. So that's kind of... Again, uh, brushless uh, hub drive, 48 volt uh, setup. And uh, when I was telling you that I was putting my deep freeze uh, outside, uh, I meant outside in this uh, workshop area. And uh, it again, it's been working flawlessly. And uh, this is uh, all about a month and a half now that I've had it up and running and uh, everything has always stayed frozen. And uh, here we go. I've got that meter, but I mean, everything is just still, uh, it's, it's all rock hard, and uh, I've actually started to turn the unit down. I used to run it wide open, now that the nights are starting to get a lot cooler in that, and it's in the fall time. Again, the fall time is has always been the worst for sun for me, so I really don't want this thing running wide open any anymore. I want it to be able to run do its thing and then have the compressor shut down. If you can see this green light, can I just get you to zoom over here? Can I just get you to move over here? And you see how the green light is, is lit, but you don't hear the compressor running? So that means the unit's getting power, but the limit is already met on the thermostat. So that would mean I've got another, you know, 120, 150 watts to, to burn. So uh, we'll go sit down in front of my um, hot water unit and um, I'll explain to you what I'm going to be doing with the excess power. Once the fridge limit has met, then the freezer limit has met, and both compressors are off, I'm going to be uh, heating. I'll, I'll be uh, uh, running these light bulbs and I'll come and show you that while I'm sitting in front of my uh, hot water unit. Uh, just to show you a little bit of jam that this bike here has. With the, uh, with the electric, but uh, I, I hum along pretty good. I hum along pretty good on this thing. All right, so if you were to look at this uh, plug-in right here, um, when the this is just a fan uh, over top of my wood stove, but uh, this plug-in is the exact same line that uh, runs my deep freeze. So, like I was telling you, the compressor is off on the deep freeze. But when I take from that circuit, I can, I'm going to, it's going to have its own circuit. But uh, what I'm going to be doing is, these are 175, so I'll be putting 350 watts of uh, heat just to hit the cement floor in here uh, as a dump. Once the limit is made on the compressor of the refrigerator, it'll turn off, then once the compressors made on the deep freeze it'll end up turning off then the then the voltage is going to rise another point or two and then this is going to fire and it's just to try and make uh, do out of uh, excess power for my panels but uh, I really don't need that right now I've got the, actually I need a little fire in the wood stove so um, if I could get my uh, cameraman to turn the water on and pass me the camera I'll show you the underneath of this thing so go ahead and uh, pass me the camera and turn the water on. So now, now you can see how this thing has started. And it's got the three buttons. The one, two, and three. And I don't know if you can actually see that flame in there. But there's a little blue flame in there. The pro there, propane unit. And uh, this, this knob right here, the, the one on the uh, left here, that's the flame size. This one here is your summer and winter and I just flipped it over to winter. 
So in winter, all of the flames go. In the summer, only half of the flames go. And this knob right here is the one that controls the flow through the heater. So if I turn this back, I'll be cutting the water flow through. So of course it would get a lot harder, hotter. So here you can see it's already hit 52 degrees C. My solar hot water is still in play outside. So it's being preheated and this is actually going to climb as soon as that hot water from that tank starts to go. So now as I show you the underneath of this thing, you can now see this is, this here is where you put the batteries in. You just unscrew that, this pops open, you pop two diesel batteries. Oh, and by the way, I'm over one year. So one year already. And then here's my water supplies, water in, water out. And, and then my propane in. So now uh, I'm not going to be so cramped right now. I'm going to get out of here. We're just going to talk about this heater a little bit. And you can see how it's still uh, slowly climbing. But so far this has been a very, very nice unit. Picked it up for $279 and that's delivered. Canadian, delivered right to my door. So uh, if I can get my cameraman to uh, turn that off and go over it's not so cramped. And we're going to talk about this unit here. So those uh, on-demand hot water heaters really if you've ever owned uh, electric Cascade 60 or Cascade 40 or even the oil burner uh, type where, or even propane for that matter, but the, the whole tank heaters, actually they provide you hot water faster than an on-demand and it has everything to do with flow. As the flow flows through these heaters, it's got to start from absolute cold and then it slowly warms up, but meanwhile you have the tap on upstairs. So it actually takes a little bit longer to get hot water from uh, an on-demand uh, hot water system like I have. Whole house, that is. Uh, they come in different sizes. That one there, you're looking at a 12 liter per minute. But I would say that a uh, household, uh, I'd be looking at more of a 16 to 18 liter a minute uh, for multi-faucet uh, use. And there again, uh, for those that are on town water, see my water pumping is just uh, diaphragm pumps. And these uh, diaphragm pumps, they're fairly low uh, volume uh, and, and probably pressure compared to town water. And so that flow is what would be going through your heater. So that's why I would recommend if you're looking at whole house and you have more than one person in the house, I'd be looking at the 16 to 18 liter a minute. Now, uh, these diaphragm pumps, I've got, again, I've got a lot to say about water pumping, so I'm gonna have to make that uh, another episode, and that'll probably even be in uh, season two uh, to hopefully wrap this uh, solar stuff up. But um, um, in a nutshell, uh, it's possible that I could be sitting in the bathtub and if I were to cut the flow back on the hot water the temperature will actually increase and that's because I'm holding the water back longer in that on-demand heater so uh, like I noticed this summer I'm because I'm I'm always using my um, uh, preheat my solar preheat hot water tank so I had it in the summertime mode only half the uh, flame jets were going and I had it turned right down also and that's because the water that was coming at me was unbelievably warm to start with and if this is just me trying to save on on uh, propane here so if it wasn't warm enough I could be sitting in the tub or even just on the side of the tub and think gee this isn't quite as hot as I I'm gonna want the end result of my tub so what I would do is actually turn the water down and I'm holding the water and it's going through the heater much slower so it's coming out much hotter you see so there is a little bit of a learning curve don't think you're just gonna install this thing and it's going to treat you exactly like your tanked 
uh, hot water is. But so far so good. I've had this thing over a year now. Same set of batteries. I'm very, very happy with it and I'm noticing a big difference in propane consumption. Now, if you have, you're running a big household, six to eight people, there'll probably be not that much savings. Maybe only five, maybe 10% uh, savings. But me, because that thing is off more than it's on, there are big time savings to be had with uh, this on-demand system compared to my tank. And then not only that, I'm also preheating, so again, the flame is on low. I have it set in its summertime mode, so again, I'm getting very large savings. But there's a little bit of toying with it, depending on if I have you know two or three doom and gloom days in a row, or I have two and three you know nice and sunny days and I haven't used any hot water. So hopefully with that, I've said enough about these uh, on-demand heaters. You get it now, you don't even have to bring power to them. You just bring the gas to it, you pop two batteries in and away they go. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. There again, I've seen that some people, if you would like to advertise on my site, you, you know that there's something interesting, you're off the grid, or your solar or wind power, if it has something to do with um, this type of living, you can go ahead, post down below, and go ahead and add your link. Add the link to your channel, that's fine. We're all in this together. Uh, this is uh, hopefully a, a small learning curve for those that are able to pick up a lot of this info before you start spending the money. Uh, I do have two more uh, episodes that I'd like to do before I end this uh, season, and it's got to do with fraud. And another one is Gorilla Solar. And Gorilla Solar is how to screw the system that's been screwing us all this time. So uh, those two, stay tuned for those. You're probably going to enjoy those the most. And um, with that, uh, press like, subscribe, and uh, let's be all part of it. Talk to you later. Bye. Knock me to the have some more kick me in the teeth I'll never talk back again I was on the other side and never been so stoned on a Sunday night I'm so messed up but oh do I feel fine but Lily took me by the heart and